Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I am here with my Dollar Tree haul. I went to a few different Dollar Trees and got a few different things. Um, I have a lot of individual items um, because I bought in multiples. So um, yeah, I'll show you everything I got. Now, um, my Dollar Tree closest to my house, the manager is a crafter and so she orders more of the craft stuff. The other two Dollar Trees, um, they're not crafters, and so they order more of everything else. And so I really like that mix of stuff because my crafter Dollar Tree, she doesn't order a lot of the um, stationery or the um, containers. And, you know, sometimes we need containers, so I have a great mix here. But this was my first item. It's a tote bag organizer, and it is so cute. It's coffee, donuts, and boba. And how can you say no to this, right? So I got four of these. I'm thinking for a swap packaging. It is a little big. They are 12 by um, about 12 by 9. So they're pretty big. But you can always fold it in half for your packaging or whatever. I thought these were super cute. Um, yeah, so I'm going to use that. Or probably just hoard it. I also got these really nice um, holders, storage containers. I wanted four of them, um, so this would be a cute packaging too. Um, I was thinking, or a nice happy mail, you know, if you're doing a one-on-one -on -one swap or something like that. Um, and I also needed these for my drawer to organize my drawer a little bit. So um, they only had two. Between, and I found one at one Dollar Tree and one at the other, so I'll have to just keep going back. Um, I don't need a box of 25. That's the only thing about ordering on Dollar Tree online. Um, you got to get a box of 25. So I don't need 25. But anyway, there's that. Um, I also got these pens. They were really pretty colors, but the reason why I got them is because I like the pens with the long tips. Um, and we used to get these on base all the time. They had the long, long, they're white pens with blue tops. And they said U.S. government on there and they had the long tips. But now that um, David's not military and I don't work on the base or go go on the base, honestly, I can't get them anymore. So, um, get them for free anyway. Um, I got these. So hopefully I like these. You know how a good pen. If not, these are really pretty to add to, you know, swaps or whatever. So, I got those. Um, let's do stickers. I'm usually not one for stickers, but OMG, how cute are these pumpkins? I'm actually about to use these in a swap I'm doing right now. Oh, they kind of don't match, but I'm going to put them over here. Oh, I also got this little carrier thing. I'm holding my current project in that. I have a couple of those already. Um... I just got a pink one. Look at how super cute this is. So fall. I love this little hipster deer or buck actually. And you know, sunflowers, apples, and stuff like that. So I thought that was really cute. I got four packs of these gnomes with the coffee. Um, one for myself and three for swaps. Um, so there we go. And I got these little notebooks. This is there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. I thought these were absolutely gorgeous. Um, I was going to use them in a swap that I just did, but I ended up using a different notebook that I'll show you in just a minute. But these are great for those craft fair notebooks um, that I did. Um, a couple tutorials for different size notebooks. Um, so, yeah, those. I got this for my sister-in-law because this looks exactly like her dog. And it's just a notebook. And then I found these. Look at how gorgeous these would be with a gnome somewhere sitting on here. Um, it's a calendar and a notebook for $1.25. And it is on one piece. You can cut it and maybe have the calendar on one side and the to-do notes on the other. I don't know. That was my thinking when I saw it. And so I'm going to come up with something and um, let you guys know. 
what I come up with with that, but um, I just thought they were so cute. This is such a great New Year's gift, I think, or, you know, whatever. Um, I got this planner. It matched the leaves. I'm, you know, I love leaves and birds and stuff like that. So um, I said I was going to plan my life, which I say every year, and I'm just not that, um, not that I'm not interesting. I just don't have a lot of stuff on my plate you know now that my kids are grown I um you know there's no soccer on this night some lessons on that night you know I don't work and so there's no meeting on this day um even when I did work my schedule was pretty much exactly the same um so I didn't even need a planner then my hours didn't change so <laughs> I just really don't have anything to put in planners, but I am starting to add more content to my YouTube channel, so maybe I will actually use it. I figured I would get one that's $1.25 because my $14 um, planner that I bought back in March, I wrote in it on that day, and I haven't touched it since. So, yeah. There you go. All right. Then I got some fall color sticky notes. And then the mini writing notebooks. You know, I told myself I was going to join a craft fair in November, but um, I think I want to go on a trip instead. So we'll see. I got some light green to kind of go with my plant themes, I guess you can say. Um, I got these marker cases. I saw a lot of people in the craft world with these marker uh, containers and so I went ahead and got what they had. I, I got four of these um, between three dollar tree, three or four dollar trees. So everyone, they said, um, my crafty dollar tree said these were the first things that went out. Somebody came and bought the entire 25 box um, and they had, a, they had like one or two left or something like that from a different box and so you guys be ready. Um, I bought, I'll show you the food in just a second. What, um, oh wait, I didn't show you these notebooks. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to keep everything organized. Look at these notebooks, guys. For a dollar twenty-five, shut up. It is like a faux leather and a pleather notebook it is very sturdy obviously you have to look because there were some with some like messed up stitching and I'm sure that's why they made it to Dollar Tree and some of them had like a little tiny scratch but nothing that will you know prevent me from buying this really nice notebook for $1.25 and it even comes with a pen so see like the stitching is slightly messed up down there but I mean who cares so I thought these were super nice. What I did for the swap is I added, um, I was doing a Christmas swap and I added the word believe. It was the all black notebook and I added believe in silver. Um, and I made a box for it. So that tutorial should be coming out soon. So yeah, I was really excited for that. It came out really cute. And so for $1.25 and like what, 10 cents of vinyl, you have a beautiful gift. So, again, a uh, craft fair item, you could probably charge like $10 for it because it was really, really nice. So, there you go. Um, I also got these boxes. Now, I have not seen anyone showcase these boxes, so I'm sure it's coming. But look at these boxes. They're hot. You could hold your Hot Wheels or your Lego people. Um, I already took one out. It's just a six container, six compartment container. So how sweet would this be for an embellishment swap or like a one-on-one -on -one happy mail or even just to organize your, um, your glitters? You know what I mean? Like the possibilities are endless, um, in here. So I just thought, you know what? When the Crafter World sees this, um, yeah, we might be having some swaps with these boxes. So I got a few. But look, my little Amazon tape runner fits perfectly in there. 
Um, I don't know if any other tape runner will fit. I just had that on my desk, so I threw it in there. Let's see. I have a Tombow. Um, no, Tombow doesn't fit. And I have a Mono. Nope. So Tombows won't fit in there, but the Amazon one fit in there perfectly. The Amazon pink one. So that's a nice little goodie you can have in there. Um, you know, whatever you want to organize or send little goodies to, you can put that in there. Ooh, you know what? My stampin' spots would fit perfectly in there. So, like, if you have these little, the little spots or the Tim Holtz ones. Aha, look at that. That fits perfectly. Oh, I like that. I'm going to keep those in there. Okay, so <laughs> there's that. And then I got, um, I'm taking these out for right now because I want to do them nicely. Actually, I only got three, so I'm going to go back and get another one so I can you actually use it for myself. I got, um, glitter vinyl. I just got the sparkly blue and the sparkly white again for goodies. And it's the mini size. I, um, for the Christmas tag swap last year, I included, the, or my favorite things or something like that. One of the swaps, I used the big roll and it barely fit in the envelope. So these are perfect little size and I can, you can alter the box. Um, you know, you can just add designer paper around it or you can remake this box um, and fit it in there. So whichever you want to do. Great goodie. I also got this standard grip mat that will fit the Cricut Joy. Um, my Crafty Dollar Tree, um, I found this randomly in a pile of something else. And she says she's never even seen them, so she doesn't even know um, if they're going to get more or whatever. But um, I do have the Cricut Joy. I just, I have never used it, to be honest. Um, but I did buy this to put my gnome dies on there. So when I am cutting out all the little parts and pieces, um, I can keep them tidy on my desk. Like for instance, here's the gnome add-on. Like you're going to cut this acorn. This is the top piece. This is the bottom piece. So I just stick them on here so I know what piece I've already cut, what piece I need to cut. Um, and just keep it nice and tidy. And so you don't lose your metal pieces on your desk. Um, I did have a sheet of magnetic, of magnet that I used for that, but it was just a pain trying to pick it off and on. And so I did cut a piece of my uh, cameo mat, but this one the stick is leaving. So I figured I'll try this. And it's bigger and it's blue and it's easier to see on my desk. So we'll see. Um... What else do I have? Um, mushrooms. Hay. And little mushrooms. And little pumpkins for my tear tray that I've had for a couple months. My mini tear tray that I've had for a couple months and I haven't done anything with. It's on my agenda. You know, when I was working, I planned my time so much better. And now that I don't work, I just don't plan my time. I just, yeah, I just don't. And I love it. All right, so now the snack food. Um, I got, again, this to make some um, crafter items, examples. Same thing with the Stroop waffles, Strop waffles. I don't know what it's called. These things, they're delicious. Um, some peppermint things okay to be honest I just bought these to eat but um, yeah and then I bought these little mixes um, when I was in the store for some reason I thought it would be multiple packs in one little box but it's just one single pack it literally says it right here so I was gonna use these for like a craft fair type thing but this would be so super cute if you um, add it with a oven mitt that you put vinyl on, you know, or something like that, a whisk, 
Um, maybe even this one if you get the Dollar Tree. Uh, they do have the Dollar Tree mini spring form pan. So that's another really cute craft fair item that you could charge a lot for. Um, this doesn't even look like Dollar Tree brand, and so, you know, you could charge. The only thing is that I just noticed the expiration date. These are getting ready to go off in November, but that's okay. I wasn't really planning on using it for anything other than an example. I'll probably make this myself, though. And I think that's it. I can't remember if I showed you... Um, the stickers. So I had that sticker, and I think I did. Okay, just in case I didn't, because I honestly can't remember that fast. Got those, those, and then four of these. Coffee and notes. Love it. Um, what else did I get? I got a Tide Pod sample. Again, that would be a really cute craft fair item to do with some altered packaging for this. Um, yep, yeah, I got some other stuff too, but I don't know what I did with it. I'm missing a whole bag. Oh, I did get this. It's wallpaper backing, and I figured this would be really cute, like if I'm going to do a video. Um, but um, <laughs> we'll see how that goes, because I'm quite lazy when it comes to stuff like that. Um, I don't know if I find I have a whole bag of other stuff but I don't know where it is so there you go alright guys thanks for watching bye